Hey guys, it's Lisa here. Welcome to my channel. I have the pleasure of being one of the moderators of the Facebook group Bitmoji Craze for Educators. Uh, if you don't know that already and you don't know what I'm talking about, you should definitely check it out. So that is Bitmoji Craze for Educators. It is an amazing group of educators from all over the world that have come together to create resources and share ideas with one another. Everything on the page is 100% free. We do not allow members to charge other members for the resources. It's just literally a group of people openly sharing. So in the group recently, people had been asking uh, questions about the, the class app or the class hub parent communication app that I posted a video for recently. And people have been sharing their templates that they've made. They all look absolutely amazing. Um, but a couple questions have been coming up. So I wanted to create a video to go over some of those questions. The first one being, how do you create the buttons for the app? Okay, so here we go. Um, I have some buttons here. I have my icons. Okay, I put them here in both black and white. So I'm gonna show you how to do that because uh, depending on your color scheme, you might choose one over the other. So I have a duplicate slide here that I literally just deleted a button from and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So to create these buttons and you could do it really with, you know, almost any shape you want. All you're gonna do is just go up to the shape icon up here. If you don't see that on yours for whatever reason, you can always go to insert and then go to shapes from the menu up here as well. So I'm going to choose the circle. I'm gonna stretch that into my oval here. Okay, I'm gonna use my guidelines to try to make it the same size and to make sure that it's even with the others. The color um, to change the, the fill color of this shape. I'm gonna come up to my paint can. And I believe that it was this color that I chose. It was perfect. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to go to format options. So I click the three buttons up here. Yours might just pop up. Okay, I'm going to choose a drop shadow. And then I'm gonna change the color of the drop shadow to the same color that I chose for the button. Okay, from there, I'm gonna come down where it says distance and I'm going to left click and I'm gonna drag this out just a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and I'm going to make this a little less transparent. Okay. I am also going to control C and control V because I want to make a duplicate of this. Um, on the second one, I do not need a drop shadow and I will send that to the back. So I'm going to right click, go to order and then send to the back. Okay. I do want to make sure, however, that it is not behind my background. Okay, so once I have that, just gonna go ahead and hold down my shift button and use my arrow keys to center that the way that I want it to be. Okay. Can actually make that a little bit darker. My drop shadow, I changed the color to one hue darker. Okay, and then you can click out and kind of look. So see that that's the way I created the buttons and that's perfect. I'm happy with the way that looks. Um, my suggestion for you after that is to just click on the top one, hold down the shift key and then click the other one. And then when you right click, you can come down to where it says group. This way you have both of the images grouped and highlighted together. And if I wanted to move them just a little bit, they both move together. Okay, so that'll make your life a little easier later on. My other suggestion is to make sure that you create a button exactly the way that you want it. Don't try to add any icons yet. Then go ahead and control C, control V. Um, if you're on a Windows computer, if you're on a Mac, it's command C, command V. Okay, C like Charlie, V like Victor, um, so that you can just make copies of the image 
say work work smart not hard you don't want to have to go ahead and try to resize everything at once however a little trick if you do decide after you're done with everything that your buttons are a little too small or too big again you can hold down that shift key and just highlight every single one of the buttons okay and then you can now resize them all at the same time so that's just a little trick for you okay so we got the buttons down now we're going to move on to those icons how do you create the icons so for me i married two of my most favorite website free resources um, which are remove bg okay so that's remove.bg remove background okay this is a website that i use to remove those pesky white backgrounds from the images that i want to use and the other favorite website of mine is lunapic Okay, so these are the two and I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to open up another browser tab here and I'm going to go to images. So I think the one that I had deleted was the calendar. I just want to make sure. Yes, it was. Okay. So for me, all I typed in was um, oh. So I typed in calendar icon. Okay, and I believe that this was the image that I had used. Okay, so I'm gonna right click and I'm going to copy. Okay, and I'm not sure if that was a true transparent image. I'm just gonna test that out here. Okay, it is. Okay, if this was not a transparent image, all I would have to do is after copying it from Google image, I could go to remove BG and from here, all you have to do is hit that um, control C or command, I'm sorry, control V or command V, and you'll see it's going to pop right up. Okay. It already had the background taken out of it, so it's going to mess up the image, but I just wanted to demonstrate how to get that there. Okay. So it's already here. So now what I can do is I can minimize this. And if you watch those little blue boxes that are popping up, you see right now, basically all of the um, icons are kind of like boxed with that blue around the outside. It's just to let me know that that size, the size of this icon is now the same with the other icons that I have on my page. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna now download or save rather, save this image to my computer. Okay, I'm gonna hit save. Then I'm going to go to Lunapic. Okay, from here, I'm just gonna go to Upload. And if you wanna see what the main page looks like, this is what it is. From here, I could go to Upload. Just gonna be the last image that I put downloaded to my computer. Okay, and then you'll see the image pop up. From here, to get that to be white, all you're gonna do is come up to Filters, and then you're gonna to go to where it says Negative. Once I do that, it's going to turn white because it's a negative of the image that I had uploaded. I'm going to copy. I mean, you could save it to your computer if you feel like you might need it for future projects. And I'm going to paste. Okay. So some ideas of different pages in the class app that you can use. I have here, so contact information, that's where I would put my email, my telephone number, things like that. Uh, homework for students, that can be changed every week, okay, so that the parents know what's expected of the children that week. Uh, class library, so I would probably link this button to, or link this to whatever page in the app. And then from the app, I would link the class library if you had books that you wanted the students to read or um, links to read alouds, you could do that as well. I have a newsletter, a link to Google Classroom. I'm, I'm sure that you could just as easily put a link to um, Seesaw or Canvas or School, Schoology and any, any other um, platform that you might be using. An event sign up and I actually um, gave reference to a really great free resource. It's a website that you can use called Sign Up Genius. If you as a teacher have um, the need for parents to come in and volunteer for a class party, maybe a school dance, uh, parent-teacher conferences, it's, it's just a, a great free resource and you can check out my class app or hub um, parent communication tutorial 
on my channel as well to get all of that and how to create the app from scratch. And then here I also have important documents. So here I would put probably permission slips, um, you know, any, any document that I have that I'm, I want students uh, and parents rather to be able to access frequently. Okay, so we've gone over creating the buttons, we've gone over how to make the icons in both of the colors. Okay, from here, the other question that I keep getting is, how do you get this on your phone? Okay, so from here, I'm just going to minimize my screen. Because if you want this to show like an actual app, you're going to want to save it to your phone screen. So I'm just going to connect my phone to my computer really quick. Okay, and I have a droid. I will I will demonstrate um, through picture how to how to do this if you have an iPhone. Okay, and I'm going to go to my slides app that I have downloaded. Okay. Okay, so these are my my documents here. Here is my class app. Okay, from here, I'm just going to scroll down and I have the option to add it to my home screen. And then I'm just going to click that I want to add it. Okay, and then you see it pops up right here. Okay, and then I would be able to click this and go right into the document, which is great. So it really gives it that app feel. Uh, finally, one last thing that I want to go over is that people are asking what size, what size do you make your slide so that it really appears to be an app. If this is something, and, and you can do two if you want, um, you can make one that is just the standard slide size if you feel like a lot of your parents will be accessing this from a computer, okay, otherwise it's going to look like this on a computer. It's going to look really long, okay, you saw it fit perfectly on my phone. Um, you can always go back in the video just to check, but for the phone app, if you want it to pop up like this where it really fills the phone screen nicely, I used, if you go to file and then you go to page setup, you'll see here that I used an 8 by 15 inch slide, okay, and that is how I was able to get this. Now, um, I've tested this out with fellow iPhone users and it fills the screen nicely for both phones, okay? So if you don't really, you know, obviously parents are going to, going to have droids, some of them are gonna have iPhones. If you want one that really fits nicely on both, the eight by 15 is the way to go. Um, thanks to my friend, Jin, who is a fellow moderator of the Facebook group, Bitmoji Craze for Educators, and also the owner of the channel, Easy Ed Tech. Okay, if you have not subscribed to her channel, definitely go check it out. She's got tons of really awesome tutorials. Okay. Um, she sent me these pictures. Thank you so much, Jin, for our fellow, uh, her fellow iPhone users. Okay. If you want to add your app to your home screen, once you open in Safari, the documents, you're going to go ahead and click the icon that's here down at the bottom of your screen. Okay. From there, you're going to see an option where it says add to home screen. Okay, and then finally, you're going to have a screen that looks like this, and you just verifying that that's the document that you want added. And once you are sure, you're going to go ahead and click add, and that will take it right to your home screen so that your parents, you can give these directions to your parents if you want. That will go ahead and add it to their home screen so they can open it just like any other app that's on their phone. And they'll have instant access to any kind of information, class library, homework, teacher communication, the platform for whatever you're using to um, provide information to your students. And it's all right there at the palm of their hands and it's mobile. It'll go right with them. So if you have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to comment down below. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and show your support for the channel and the work that I do um, by hitting that subscribe button and also hitting that notification bell because you definitely don't want to miss my future videos. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care.